It's known as the largest reunion of bone marrow transplant patients ever. City of Hope celebrated the 32nd anniversary of this event. And as Walter Richards reports, today's gathering was full of emotion, happiness, and new hope. Another bus stop in a tireless journey. Good morning, welcome. Have a good day. Have a good day. Cancer survivors and their relatives always seem to find a way to keep rolling along life's challenging roads. Five grandchildren born since I was in this facility. That's a good reason to keep living. Ken Blush's 18-year battle against leukemia is one of the thousands of individual stories of hope at City of Hope. This is the 32nd annual celebration of life bone marrow transplant reunion. And this is where, for the first time, leukemia survivor Julian Gold, a Beverly Hills anesthesiologist, met his bone marrow donor, Daryl Weinberg, a finance manager from West Hills. In the last week in December, I was admitted to the City of Hope, um, where um, I first had another round of chemo, and then on December 28th, a bone marrow transplant. And um, so now I'm a year, I'm about 16 months out, and I've gotten fat and hairy. And uh, uh, it's all because of him. So now it's kind of nice to put a face to a name and see his family and the people that, you know, I've been able to kind of touch. Um, it's, it, it's very nice. It's rewarding. I hope more people do it. Filmmaker Christine Pachera hopes more people, especially minorities, register with the National Marrow Donor Program as well. The non-Hodgkin's lymphoma survivor's donor was found a world away in Hong Kong. He's 39-year-old Kent Wong. They couldn't find a donor for me on the registry, and we searched all over the world, and the only person who even matched remotely with me was this guy right here. He was my only hope, my only chance. We literally had to go all the way to China to find him, and uh, this is the guy that saved my life. Pachera shared her fight for life in a poem that gave her and all cancer survivors gathered here more hope in City of Hope. In Duarte, Walter Richards, KTLA News.